Britain is set to grant licenses for potentially more than 1,000 EU vessels to continue destructive trawling when it should be outlawed under UK law, a conservation body has warned. The new licenses are expected to come into effect in the new year, alongside similar licenses for UK vessels. Marine conservation organisation Oceana said, this is in contravention of the Habitats Regulations and Marine Acts and could make them illegal under UK law. Melissa Moore, head of UK policy at Oceana, called on the government to use its powers to act. She told Express.co.uk the government should issue a simple license condition that bans the use of bottom-toed gear, as is required by UK law. Currently, licenses for 1,675 vessels from EU nations to fish in the UK's exclusive economic zone EEZ, are due to expire on New Year's Eve, and new licenses will have to be issued for the coming year. There are also 1,100 licensed UK vessels over 10 metres long. Oceana anticipates that more than 1,000 licenses for UK and EU vessels will be issued around December 31, but we don't know the exact number that will be issued at that time. The advocacy group said that trawling and dredging are still currently permitted in over 97% of the UK's offshore marine protected areas MPAs. In April, the government committed to adopting fisheries management for all its MPAs by 2024. Dot. However, Oceana estimates that, as this has only been done for four MPAs in two years, destructive fishing methods could continue to be licensed in Britain until 2050. Bottom trawling and dredging involves the towing of very heavy gear along the seabed. This way of fishing often destroys the habitats and the species that live. Ms. Moore told Express.co.uk that vessels that use bottom-toed fishing gear can adversely affect marine habitats. Either destroying the habitats such as biogenic reefs, mussel beds, honeycomb reefs, coldwater corals, or removing infaunal and epifaunal species and hence reducing species diversity and ecosystem integrity. British fisherman Clive Mills said, we need to start looking after what we've got left, because if we don't, there will be nothing left. 